We've come out for a little evening expedition to pick up some bubble wrap that we have obtained via freecycle.org. And while we're out and about, we thought we'd do a little trash picking since tomorrow is garbage pickup day in this very ritzy rich town. And we're here anyway, so we are looking for trash that we can then try to sell in our upcoming yard sale. There's Frugal Daddy doing some nighttime trash picking. It's not a vacuum. It's not a vacuum. It's a carpet shampooer? Carpet shampoo. Ooh. You can never have too many carpet shampooers. There's a desk, a kid's desk. Very cute. The back of the car is getting filled up. Daddy's got a folding chair. That's always handy to have. It's a nice chair. We could sit in that at our yard sale. Somebody's been doing a little bit of a clean out. We got some videos. It looks like another vacuum. Oh, it is Christmas ornaments. Christmas ornaments in there. Love them. Yeah. Hand blown. Some pots and pans and Just lids. Take the Just take the lid. Let's see if there's any videos in here. We have Jumanji. Oh yeah. Okay. Some little rugs to use for dog beds. Little rolled up pieces of rug. And a lovely lid. Lids are always good because people break the lids. Just like Christmas by the side of the road. Clothing rack. Is there a clothing rack in the clothing rack box? Oh yeah. yeah. This looks like uh, cushions for outdoor chairs. Ooh, I never saw Inspector Gadget. Oh, a little VHS player. With remote. With remote. There's a little table shelf type thing, which is absolutely not going to fit in the car at this point. Frugal Daddy's very clever when it comes to packing a car. We've barely begun and we've already filled the car. Barely. How exciting! I didn't expect in the fall for there to be so much sorting out of homes. Uh, for a real tall piece of stilts. They're stilts? Yes. Yeah, stilts poles. and fishing poles. Fishing poles? And, and ski poles. Too. Not that long ago, we had our bicycles stolen, and now Frugal Daddy has found a few also curbside shopping here and there. So we have those two new bicycles, plus the classic blue Schwinn, and this child's Dazzle Jazz bike, and the Rebel Racing Mongoose. So then we also have a small Aldi dumpster haul. We have a bunch of grapes. Red grapes too, some nice tomatoes, a nice big fat pumpkin, a great big bag of potatoes. We got five or six packages of asparagus. We have a pineapple that's incredibly ripe, so I'll cut that open and see if that's still okay. More tomatoes, a Caesar salad kit, that looks nice, a yellow pepper, and some organic hearts of romaine. And also from the Aldi dumpster, this chair. This is the box with the picture of the chair, but all the chair pieces are inside. Okay, and from the Burlington Coat Factory dumpster, we got these glasses. These boxes were actually perfectly fine. They just sat out in our backyard and got rained on, so they got wet and muddy. They were okay when we got them out of the dumpster. This set of glasses was returned. It had the return tag on it because this one has a tiny little chip there. But these other ones, the other three, are fine. This box is a 24 count of glasses. So, let's peel back the soaking wet cardboard. Because they sat out in the rain last night. Okay, so there's a broken one. The rest seem fine. So we have these highball glasses, is that what you call them? These smaller glasses. Peel back the soggy cardboard. See what's down there. Ugh. We have 11 of the smaller glasses because we have that one broken one and 12 of these tall glasses. It would not hurt my feelings at all to use these glasses. Also from within the Burlington Coat Factory dumpster, we got four strollers. This umbrella stroller and then these jogging strollers. They still have the labels and everything on them. We got this back scrubbing brush, this ball, this tablet holding mounting device for the tablet we do not own. This was a lotion dispenser, which obviously is broken, and some fingertip towels that have a really cute little reindeer design on them. So we can still make use of the towels. Okay, stroller, stroller. 
There was a tie. And these two pairs of pants with the label still on. Look, these were $70 pants and Burlington Coat Factory was selling them for $17. These were $62 khakis, which they were selling for $15. And why they threw those away, I do not know. I don't know why they threw any of this away, quite frankly. And last but not least, from the Pier 1 dumpster, we have this lantern. Each face of the lantern has a pane of glass, except this one is broken, which really doesn't bother me at all. And I was actually thinking, I would like to use this maybe for a hanging plant that maybe would have foliage hanging down. So I might take the glass out of uh, all of it, really. I'm not sure. Or we could just hang it up and put a candle in it. It really doesn't bother me that one of the panes of glass is missing. And we also got this little lantern, same deal. One of the panes of glass is broken but that would not stop me from using it. And finally, we have this tray. It's really, really big. The handle is broken there, but Frugal Daddy can epoxy that. You know how a barrel has those bands that go around and hold the wood together? So this has this black band around it for decoration, which is not currently attached, but Frugal Daddy can reattach that. And of course, you can never have too many of these. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Please leave your comments below, give us a thumbs up, click the subscribe button if you haven't already done that, and have a great day!